This video was generated using Google's VO3. This is definitely not AI. AI is not nearly good enough to generate Minecraft videos. Pretty crazy, right? If you're like me, you've been seeing a bunch of videos generated using this new AI model lately, so I thought I would see if my job is gonna get taken anytime soon. The answer is no, for now. Okay, I'll just show you what I have and let you be the judge. Uh, I got quite a number from here. So the first thing I tried was just VO3 fast, which is not as good of a model, but still I just said a scene from the video game Minecraft, and this is what it gave me. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's actually kind of crazy how good it is. Of course, there are quite a few problems. It looks kind of smeary and weird. You know, the person, the player here doesn't, like, go into the water. And there's, like, I don't know what this is with this tree being made of grass. And there's, like, an elongated, elongated sun and stuff. But it, for what it is, though, it's really crazy. And if we listen, the sound even lines up. Such as when the player jumps, the sound of hitting the ground stops. The sound of walking stops. As you can see there, and then the sound of water, you can hear that too, and the sounds do sound quite a bit like Minecraft, so definitely a solid start, and at a glance, this just looks like Minecraft, like you would, at a glance, you would think this was just Minecraft, and you wouldn't think of it as AI, until you looked at it more closely. Things did go downhill a little bit when I tried something else, uh, which was this right here, this is with the full version of VO3, and it's basically just the players walking through a grassy field with sheep and cows walking around, the player switches their hotbar sl slot to a sword and kills a sheep, so let's see what happened with this. Um, yeah, slightly weirder. So we still have pretty consistent and good walking around. The UI looks really good, uh, especially since this was the VO3 uh, main model. You can see that the hotbar is slightly better, more, more items and stuff that it managed to come up with. It does switch the hotbar slot, uh, not to a sword, uh, to a pork chops, and then starts to uh, use the sword to um, mine the sheep with wood sounds, which is uh, rather inaccurate. Um, and then the sheep, uh, d like, turns red and stuff. Anyway, obviously you can see the problems with it, but, you know, still pretty good, pretty good. And the visuals were nailed pretty well. I then tried this right here, which is basically just the players building a house out of oak planks. The sun is low, the sky is almost dark. Just as the player is about to finish, a skeleton shoots an arrow and the player dies. So let's go ahead and see what it gave me with this. So with this one, uh, it's it's obviously a little weird, but stuff like this block placement here, it fits perfectly in with the with this cube system. Uh, this, however, does not quite. It's kind of an edge block, and the arrows are rather strange. Uh, we already see a thing here that says respawn, um, and the death screen is there. It doesn't look anything like the one in actual Minecraft. So there's a lot of mistakes, but overall like it still looks like minecraft and it's quite impressive and that's basically going to be the vibe for most of these now there was another thing that i tested out which was where you could take two screenshots or two pictures and it would basically create a video between them so i this was the first picture right here and this right here was the second picture from my actual minecraft world that i have so these are screenshots from in game and then i just told it to basically uh, make a minecraft player walks around their in-game house and admires it so this is what it did with just those two pictures and that prompt Kind of crazy. Like, this, everything looked pretty good. Even the fact that the, the campfire, you can't even see it in the first screenshot, but yet it places it in the right spot and uh, has it at the end in the correct place. Of course, me being uh, very familiar with my Minecraft world, this actually all looks... Like, everything sticks together very well and actually looks like my Minecraft world. And, of course, there's all kinds of little weird things, but overall, everything, including the items in the hotbar and stuff like that, all kind of stay pretty consistent. And, like, the movement as... The movement of the item and the hand back and forth as the player walks is pretty realistic as well. I wanted to try making PvP. Um, so things things went downhill a little bit here, but we can watch it. Okay, sounds pretty accurate. Movement of the player pretty accurate. Uh, movement of the other players, rather strange. Um, they don't look the best. And that's one thing I've noticed with all this. There's a lot of documentation that the AI has on what the hotbar looks like and stuff, what the sword and stuff looks like, what the player movement looks like, but less about what the actual, like, what some more specific things look like, which is potentially why it looked kind of weird. 
Still, though, the sounds feel good and everything, and it's, it is it is sticking together pretty well. I tried this video where the player is walking through a lush cave, finds diamonds, and then gets blown up by a creeper. One thing that the AI doesn't seem to be able to do very well is uh, player deaths. It just says, like, you died as if it's the name of an item or something, and you don't actually see any kind of death screen. Um, but this first part is really impressive. We can see the, the player walk up to the diamonds and break them with actually realistic break speed, at least on the first one. The second one kind of disappears. And the creeper is a little strange, but the explosion looks decent as well. I wanted to try having it so that the player could fly with an elytra, so I tried this, and uh, ignoring the fact that it tried to generate what it thought was an elytra in the sky right in front of it, the movement and everything once again looks very accurate. As we can see, the player is diving around and flying with their elytra between these uh, mountains right here. And again, same kind of trend. The movement and stuff, and like this rocket looks almost perfect. Like this is almost the exact texture of a, of a firework rocket. And it looks very sharp and clean. Um, uh, the mountains and terrain look a little lumpy and smeary. But if you don't look at it too hard, it's okay. And of course, whatever this thing it decided to put here was. I actually tried to do this prompt twice, and it, uh, it did it with both. Uh, with rather funny results in terms of things like this. Now, this one right here uh, demonstrates um, a game mechanic that doesn't exist, but apparently the AI thinks it does, because all I told it to do was to basically place the last eye vendor in the end portal frame and jump in, and then spawns in the end dimension and starts fighting the dragon. So this is what it did for that prompt. So, um, yeah, rather interesting. It's, it's kind of like, spot the things that are wrong with this video. First of all, we um, apparently are going to use our um, Eng of Ender right here to uh, light up this uh, small nether portal, which then breaks and um, allows us to jump through into the end dimension. So uh, that's kind of funny. I tried a couple of nether scenes, including this one. It's quite obvious from videos like this that it has a hard time doing other mobs or players. I love it when you use death steers to kill piglins, it's really fun. Then I wanted to try making actual Minecraft videos like you might find on YouTube, such as a redstone tutorial. So just place a piston there, and a repeater there set to three ticks, and it should be all done. Now this was probably the most impressive video out of all of them to me. Especially this one moment where it says place a piston there and it actually places a piston right there. It's a piston there. It actually looks like a piston too in the hand here and on the block. Uh, not so much the selected item, but still it lines up with what the person is saying. And the AI does seem to be very good at creating a person's voice pretty well. Uh, not sure if there's any connection to mumbo jumbo, but uh, this person does have a British accent as well. Not sure if any of his videos were used to train this AI or not, but uh, that's kind of funny as well. Of course, it doesn't actually place a repeater when he says he does, but the piston uh, the makes up there, for it. That's pretty three cool. ticks, and it should be all done. And then I tried another one, kind of an, a YouTuber intro style thing of like a new Minecraft world, so we can uh, watch this one. Hello, welcome to my survival world. I've just started it, but it's going to be awesome. I should probably get a bed before night. So, um, it worked okay. There's, it's kind of weird. Um, first of all, we can see the person's hand here, even though technically it's supposed to be third person, which is kind of even more confirmed as slightly wrong by the fact that then the player turns around and just walks off. Bro apparently just, like, no clips into the back rooms or something. Look at him. He's like, whoop. Uh, he left his friend to fend for himself, I guess. So, it, this is sort of a, a case of, like, another player recording the intro for this person, which is kind of funny. Uh, and again, the voice is all right. It sounds a little stiff in this instance, but if we look at the Minecraft terrain, do, are you seeing how good it looks? Like, look, the textures and the trees and stuff, they all look very good. This, not so much, but this stuff, this stuff, this stuff, all very good. I'm very impressed by what this AI can do. So, yeah, AI just leveled up. Even when it comes to generating things like precise video games, it's actually doing really well. And I feel like that we've sort of hit a turning point with AI, a point where... You won't be able to tell much longer what's real and what's not.